Hi, I'm Jeffrey, and this is Manny, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay, hi guys, welcome back to Glong Girlie's YouTube channel. I am here today with Aaron Mua to video uh, me trying to follow him along as he's doing a look. It didn't end well, hence why I only have one eye done, but you need to just watch as we go along and see what happens. Like, I have to give you credit though, like, she tried so hard to make it work. <laughs> this side worked. <laughs> it just this side. Like something worked. <laughs> like but Somewhere not the original the look. Line. The original look was like I mean <laughs> <laughs> Just continue on, watch the video and leave yeah. comments below what you think was the highlight of it all. And in the video we're playing around with the new palettes that had just launched. So these are Glam Girlie's new eyeshadow palettes. There is 20 shades and they are Armo approved. These are fusion palettes and we also have the new, and this is the sunset palette, which is more of a kind of a browns nude. There is a little bit of uh, green and blue in there, which is really different. Aaron, yeah. of course, went in and used that. And I used the fusion one on two colors though, because I'm a basic bitch and didn't go too well. So, yeah, enjoy this video. Gonna go in with brows. Yeah. Because that's what Aaron says goes first. So I'm gonna do it. What are you using? I'm just. Just the truth. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Look, Look at the size difference. I mean, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> this is just better for gimme brows, so I'm gonna just pull colour through my brow first before I yeah, go Yeah, see you full brows. I don't have that luxury in life. Yeah, I feel like I'm already miles behind you because you are putting some sort of magic on your eyebrows. I'm gonna draw <laughs> mine on like a little peasant bitch over here. How do you get your brows so full? Um, a man. <laughs> this is very oh, true. Oh, that the hair on my face is pretty full <laughs> like always and it's so annoying because like when I was working on counter I'd have to literally shave every every morning like oh my god really yeah like dryness on my skin was like intense oh no um because it just doesn't sit right on your skin whenever like yeah it like it literally lit, like lit so are they your brows done oh no no <laughs> girl okay. no so I'm gonna go in and just like literally do a line along the bottom and that's all I do then. Like, that's where I stop. <laughs> I'm dying to see you like doing stuff. What? That's what you, that's all you do? Yeah, I just do a line of Oh, the <laughs> pressure. Okay. I'm not watching my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have to draw my whole eyebrow on because I'm so blonde. It's like, they love ginger. And no shade to gingers, okay? <laughs> Don't be like, judging me. <laughs> I'm not judging you. I'm not a makeup artist, he is. Okay, so fuck you. <laughs> You're probably just as like educated though and tough talk, so. Not educated. This is the side of my face that I hate, like my brow and everything on this side. I, just... <laughs> I think a lot of people are like that though. They have the, the good side. Oh, she's perfect on both. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's like I just take a photo and then I decide if I like it or not, whether it's a good side or bad, so I could hate it. You are still on brows and I know you're just doing this. I'm doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not helping a sister out whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, my brows don't even match. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh we're done. <laughs> okay. What do you care if you're switch? I don't know, I always change it up. Right now I'm going to mix though, because I want a good eye base and I use my, whatever I carry my eye brow with, I'll use as a base. So I'm going to mix any girl, la girl. La girl, let's joke on it. Who's la girl? <laughs> it's LA girl. It's LA girl with my cosmetics um, NW15. Did that? Did they discontinue that? You don't. Do I look like a math girl? I am actually not Jeffree Star. You are Jeffree Star. <laughs> you put everything on my brush. Yeah. What do you do? Your fingers? Put, no, oh. I'm not one of them people. <laughs> I was about to be like. <laughs> <laughs> and I also put everything like on the back of my hand or on a piece of tissue as well. Oh really? But that's like the makeup artist side of it, like the hygiene side of it. It's a little dig there at me, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just fuck off. <laughs> I think it's good though. Like you, you're not qualified makeup artist, are you? No, I did uh, beauty therapy in college with okay. makeup, but I dropped out of them for my exam. Okay, that's hilarious because like I went to college for makeup for one day. <laughs> like actually one day. Like I full on completely forgot to go to the first like inter like introduction day. Oh my god. Where you get your kit and all, and because I was working with a company for like a good four months before. I was gonna be doing college, so I went in and I was like, no thanks. <laughs> Left that day, like, I literally just, I couldn't sit through it because I had learned it all already with working on counter. 
Yeah. That I was sort of just like, I'm, I'd have been just doing it for the piece of paper and... It was pointless. Yeah. So I just went along with that company for a good while and I kind of built myself from there. Hmm. And how did you get into English? Um, so it's kind of, it's, it's weird. <laughs> so I like was working in a sports shop at the time. Okay. Uh, I had like a year's retail experience with that sports shop and it was like horrific. I'm not gonna drag them yet. I'm gonna wait until we're like both a bit more famous. <laughs> but no, I was working with them for a year and then I was literally just like shopping in England constantly. So much so that the girls knew me by name. Um, and then I literally would just be in there every, every single like week. So when a position became available, one of the girls said like, oh, would you not? To the manager, like, would you not get Aaron in? So she was like saying to the manager, oh, what about that fella that does be in here all the time? So she told me to send my CV through to the Dundrum like management group. And it sort of just went from there. I got an interview and then I went to the interview, got the job and I started in Tala for four months. Yeah. And then transferred off to Dundrum. And how long were you there? In Dundrum? Yeah. Um, nine months. And I was like, part specialist and all that, like, it was great, but um, just retail. It's, mm -hmm. it's not forever. It's like, hard. Yeah, retail, retail is retail hard. It's not forever. It doesn't um, matter what job you're in, what you're doing, retail is the toughest shit. And what age did you start wearing makeup at? Oh, I only mean, I was like 16. And then, oh, really? Yeah, and I only got crop, and that was just like concealer. Mm hmm. Because um, like my face is quite red. Oh, and okay. And then I got into like more of it. I think around 17, 17, yeah, when I was in my fifth year and then the girls just all started getting me to do their makeup because I was good at doing it on myself. That was horrific though, like <laughs> I have pictures of that. Oh, um, you think you have bad pictures? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, I have one receipts. of my bad pictures right here. Hold on. Yeah, get receipts. Yeah. Oh, my driving yeah. license. <laughs> I thought you had like years. a printed. <laughs> it's 10 years old, my driving license is. It's up this year. So this is, I was 17. Them brows though. That's them. what I'm concerned about, that smoky eye. I know. Can you see it? What was the shimmer in the other corner? It's so bright. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. One day I'll do a recreation of this look. Oh God, yeah. Them days, them days. Do you set your concealer that you put your eyeshadows on? Yeah. Yeah. With my Inglot powder. What do you set with? I don't normally. Oh really? Yeah, I normally go straight in and blend it out. Okay, brows are done and a base is on. I'm ready to untie it. Okay, so you don't set it? No, I don't set it. And if it creases, just before I go in with any shadow, I will just like bounce out any of the creases. Uh -huh. And then I just go straight in actually now. Okay. What kind of a look do I want to do? Okay, I'm not going to set it then. I'm going to do what you do. You're a profesh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so. okay. These are the new palettes. The new palettes. The birthday collection. So the new palettes are called Fusion, which is colorful, and Sunset, which is more neutral, brown, <laughs> nudes. I don't know what you're doing. It's just little. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know they're not gonna die. Yeah, no, nothing <laughs> fell out. There's no drop out here. You don't see any of that shit. And they have a mirror, <laughs> which is important. Yeah. All of the Glow Girlies palettes have mirrors. It's important, you gotta have a mirror. It's needed. You're a glowing girly on the glow and go, you need a mirror. That's a new catchphrase. It's <laughs> trademarked, I'm having it now. <laughs> you can have it, I was trying to get out. <laughs> like, I had it in my brain for a minute and I was like, that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna use the, the sunset, sunset palette, palette. Yeah. and I'm gonna use the fusion one. What okay. kind of colour is you gonna go for? Now your Rachel normally sets her base, and so I've talked her into not setting her base not today. Her base. So be mindful, that makes them like, pick on it. Okay. Hi sis. <laughs> like there. Okay. Okay. I think you should go straight in with the black. <laughs> Just fucking go crazy. Oh my god, they both have black as well. I love that. You gotta have black. Love that. That is needed. Necessary. Okay. I'm... I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly. Mmm. Maybe like pinks and purples? Yeah. Oranges? I don't know. Fuck this. I'm just gonna go in with it. Just, okay. okay. It's gonna look amazing and I'm gonna look like a peasant. So go with your mid-tone instead of your transition. Okay. I'm just going to show you like... You do it yeah. first, please. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do a mid-tone, so something that's You're going dark. right in with that? Yeah. Okay. And like 
pink and lemon brush. Okay. And well, that's what I mean by like if it creases like that, you just need to buff it out again so you get a smooth blend. So I'm just gonna go straight in on my outer corner with this color. And basically I'm gonna create a shape for my smokey eyes. So I'm gonna bring this up through the crease as well. And like I'm gonna dip in like every like two or three symbols. Cause I want to like, I don't want like a wash color. Mm -hmm. And like, boom. You want all the colors. <laughs> yeah. So get your mid tone. What are you gonna do? <laughs> this is so confusing. Okay. I nervous. Yeah. So basically I'm just packing it on through my crease. So I'm literally like dabbing it on. And then I'm gonna worry about the blend and the shape of it after. And you're putting this all over your lid or just I'm just bringing crease? it like kind of through the crease. It doesn't matter if it gets on the lid though because I'll use a shimmer and like okay. bring it up. This is the first time I've played with these shadows as well. So that's why I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them to the test this so far. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I literally just like pack it all over the eye, get as much color on there as possible. Okay. And then I swap brushes to something more fluffy and don't put any shadow on it and I'm gonna blend off the edges. This way you just kind of get more color out of your shadow and then you can softly blend out your edge so that you're not losing the intensity of them. Yeah, I've already fucked this up. <laughs> well, I look Shall like we? a hooker. No, you don't. Now take a fluffy brush. Have faith in the process. Uh, like how fluffy? <laughs> and then go in and blend the edge. So like literally where it's okay. like, yeah, like that. I'm not sure. Man's gonna be dead. This, I feel like it's not even fucking blending. It is. Have faith. So see the way then you get your soft blend on the edges. Yeah. But you're not losing the intensity of the colour. Okay. I don't even know if this is fucking blending. Okay. <laughs> you're like, okay. Shall <laughs> we? Yeah, you're blending it. Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> is this what you have to do all the time to blend this Yeah, much? this is how I do my clients as well. I pack on the colour and blend it out. And like, I'm literally going in now and pack them over. Oh, like really? More. Yeah, I'll do this like three times. Oh, wow, okay. Because I really want that color like, to be like, bam, hi. Look, look, look at our eyes, right? Mine isn't blended up for me two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting there, it's blending. I went very high. That's okay. That's, that's LG. <laughs> okay. I get what you mean now about the whole blending. Mm -hmm. Looking at it from a distance, yeah, it makes sense. But then when I look close, I'm like, to go back in and put on more color. Yeah, and blend that out. She probably is doing that on camera, actually. <laughs> Anyone who's a little critic, you can just fuck off. <laughs> Comments are disabled. <laughs> <laughs> you can't actually go below. <laughs> Here, what's the crack with Limerick? I feel like it has a bad little name for itself or something. So like, yeah, when I, when I was like, Telling people like, oh, I'm just going to the mirror for the day or mm -hmm. whatever. They were like, oh, you'd want to be careful down here. Like, I was like, what? Always like, the way. Why do people say that? Like, it's Why are you going on rough. holidays? You go on holidays, like to Spain or wherever the hell you go, and you bump into people and they're like, oh my god, you're Irish too, where are you from? And then you're like, Limerick. You're like, oh. Never mind. What I, is it about Limerick? <laughs> like, what's wrong with it? It just got a bad name a couple of years ago. There was a lot of stuff going on in Limerick. It's all over, it's all done with now. Yeah. But I think. When something has that name, it, it's hard to lose. But I mean, Limerick's amazing. Yeah, um, the social or the partial life here is good. Is going out and stuff. Um, I would know. I go out a lot. Um, shopping is is good. I mean, it's not like Dublin. It's not like crazy, crazy. You know, we've like one shopping centre, which is fine. Yeah. And there's shops around town and stuff. But is this a super question? Would you have pennies? Of course. Okay. So here is actually like a nice place to be. <laughs> it actually <laughs> because, like, is. When I was driving down here, the whole drive down I was just like, wow, like I obviously was watching the road, but like I was like just looking at all the fields and stuff and I was just like, this is so pretty, like compared to Dublin where it's just like build up of absolute everything everywhere. Yeah, Dublin like, is very city. Yeah. Limerick isn't really. I mean you can drive five minutes out of Limerick and you could be in countryside, you yeah. know. Literally like when I was coming really in. High. Yeah, I let you go. No, I have gone way too hard. Like the colour's almost out my fucking throat. <laughs> no, it's not. Once you brighten up your inner corners on, that's bright as your driver's license. But <laughs> once you do, <laughs> it will be uh, a okay. Uh, You're doing really well though. Like for never trying that technique, I'm so impressed. Okay. I've like done like literal demos on people and they haven't followed it. Like that's good. I'm really enjoying these shadows. I am actually still on the first one. Are we moving on? What's that? Oh, are you doing? 
Oh, and okay. <laughs> Are you just doing like one? Two times. <laughs> just, I'm gonna go on to the next eye. I'm really far behind right now because I was so focused on that blend. Like I've literally just used one shadow, so I went in with that one there. Um, and that's the sunset palette and like you can see that it looks like there's a good like three different shadows on the lid because you just have that gradient from like packing it on and then blending it out. So it just saves you the effort of dipping into like 40 eyeshadows. Why don't you do YouTube tutorials there? Can you explain this? Because I need to learn. <laughs> so I'm just taking that same base that I used all over the eye just to kind of brighten up my inner corner again before I put any shimmer or metallic down. And then I'm gonna buff this in so that it doesn't look crazy. I need to obviously up my technique, but I do get what you mean. In like the whole like pack on and blend. Yeah. Everybody's doing it, so I just tried it one day and then I was like, okay, I like this. It works, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I'm gonna mix these two shades, this kind of like goldy one with a deeper gold one, just because I want um I don't want it too dark. When I go in with this really yellow gold, this is very yellow gold. I wanna see what this looks like. For someone who's like saying that they're not a makeup artist, you're like good at makeup, like to a high level. <laughs> like, not, like someone who's not good at makeup wouldn't be able to pack it on and blend it out. That's for sure. Because like that is something that like takes time to get used to. Mm -hmm. And you literally just like sat down here and you're like, okay, you fuck it, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> like, and we're just like packing That's it right on. That's like everything in life. Okay, let's yeah, see how this is gonna look. Oh, that is. Yeah. <laughs> Two of us I, I do. No, 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 in a bad way. It's nice. It's so like rich. Oh, wow. oh that on like dark skin tones. It's just there. Just I'm just gonna. Do you know what? This is me, 2017. That's what Iron's turned me into. Look. <laughs> half and half. You know. That's what that is. So how long did you kind of like? What was the process for making this? Like, how long were you at? Deep. Oh god, Adam, how long? Because I have been annoying Adam for months about all this shit. And how long have you had them in your hands for? Uh, well, like I had day. my samples yeah. uh, months ago. It's just for me to test out and see if I like the product, see if it's good. Uh -huh. Some of my friends are makeup artists, I pass it along to them and ask them to just try it out and tell me what they think, you know? Um, obviously, me not being a makeup artist is very hard for me to judge you know how it blends how it mixes how it looks yeah so having friends who are makeup artists really helps me out because they're so brutally honest with me i'm gonna do um a crazy big lash because uh, i forgot how big these were <laughs> but no it's okay borderline I don't know drag what i'm doing i don't even know where i am right now in this eye look it's it's not working the yellow has spread like a virus across my eyelid Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with another colour because I just feel lost. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what this is. What is this? I like it though. I like the colour combo. I think... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, at what point does one give up? <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> no, you're not giving up. I'm not letting you. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop on these lashes. I, sorry, I forgot to say as well. I just added some of this kind of deeper neutral brown just on the outer edges just to kind of make it a little bit smokier so when I put on the lash it doesn't just look um, as soft. How did you like get into like creating your own brand? What made what sparked that? Um, well to be fair I obviously had Glow Girlies up and running as, as your boutique. Yeah. yeah and then I just I wanted to do something different than every other shop. I wanted to be kind of more out there and daring and I just thought makeup products is what no other boutique has done. Yeah. Um, so I just went for it. Yeah, actually you're right, like there isn't a like no. half drawn makeup line. I love the name of it as well, Glowing really. It's just That was so random being made up. Um, me and my sister were thinking for ages like what would be a good name? What do we call it? It actually started out as a blog between me and my sister. Yeah. And it just kind of escalated. Into a there. boutique and makeup brand. Mm -hmm. I started out online mm -hmm. and just had the online shop. And then it was going so well that I was like, oh, I don't know what, I think I'll open a store. And then the next day I put down the a on a Oh my god. I just don't like to wait around. I have no No, I'm it. so like that actually. I didn't think that was possible though. <laughs> yeah, so I like went online looking up places and the next thing this place around the corner came up and I was like, oh, I'll go over and view it. And 
then your man was like, oh yeah, you can have it whenever you're ready to move in. I was like, yeah, I'll get my stuff and I'll be in soon. This, I make up, no, this eye look is shit. Shit. Okay, I think I might take this off, put it like this one and go from there. I think the yellow is where I fucked up. That um, deep yellow is gonna look so, so nice on dark skin tone. Maybe just not that your fairness. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not about that yellow anymore. Yeah. I'm gonna do it in pink instead. A bit of me, isn't it? A bit of me, in that. <laughs> Did you watch Love Island? Did I watch Love Island? I was practically on the fucking island. I was watching so much. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just you in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> like chubby me going, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm not good at this blending shit. This is like. What's your go to skin for? Which one did I need to get my hands on? Face one. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Maybe a three in one. It's three in one. You don't gotta buy any products. It's got all three. <laughs> your skin is so clear for someone who just uses fake wipes. <laughs> I know, I know. And especially because every time I go out and I don't sleep in my makeup. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm that person. Yeah. But no, I'm such a freak when it comes to like makeup removal at night. Like I'm Oh really? Work. If I get in from a night out, it could be like five in the morning, I don't care. I'll go to the bathroom, turn off the lights on the house, and I don't care who I wake up. And I'll go in, I'll exfoliate, cleanse, double cleanse, make sure like all the makeup's off. So wait, no, in order. I'll remove my makeup with coconut oil and a damp face cloth. Then I will cleanse, then I'll exfoliate. Then I'll tone and then I'll moisturize and then I'll go to bed. I will eat the bed, get it all over my face, <laughs> sleep with some of it on, get into bed, and then <laughs> wake up in the morning and just lick the little bit of kebab off. Oh my god! We're getting lucky at the minute, like, that you look this good. But it's. Like, it's, your skin is like really, really like, nice. I would have been like, yeah, she like. It's on it, like she got that, like... No, my skin is, it's okay. It's probably gonna get worse over the next couple of days. My period's due, so I'm gonna have like spots all over here and I'm just gonna hate everyone. And you're just gonna eat more kebabs? <laughs> I'm on a diet at the moment. Oh, how's that going? It's going okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going okay. It's going okay. It's going okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> Your diet's so great. Have you ever had anybody make any comments about you being a man who does makeup? Yeah, constantly. What? Like when I was working in Dundrum, it's like one thing that would be like weekly. Um, there was a few occasions where people literally were like standing up, because obviously where I was working was quite out in the open. Yeah. Um, but there was like a few occasions where people were standing around. There was like a group of fellas in like their heat and track suits. You're wearing umbro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Um, so yeah, there has been like one or two moments like that, but no, like you definitely get people double looking, which is fine, but mm -hmm. like when someone gets terrible about it and like voice their opinion, I'm like, I don't yeah, need that. it's pointless, isn't mm -hmm. it really? I but don't get a lot of it on Instagram. Um, the people that follow me on Instagram are kind of crazy and <laughs> shut people down. I don't even know what I've done. I, don't know what I've done. I have done my base, so I'm going to move on to like bronze and up and stuff. It's nice though. It's not. I feel like I'm just gonna watch you now and learn. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna do one eye and then I'm gonna do my face. I'm not gonna do the other eye next. Okay, I'm gonna do my face. I'm gonna go and brand myself up using the Samsung tablet. Ciao, girlies. Long eyes. I love the new um, the new logo on the front of the palette. So. Yeah, that's so much better. So do you conceal it? Under your eye, where that's, that's it. That's it? Yeah, just under my eye. Um, like if I'm feeling my Kim K fantasy, I'll go like down the whole T-zone. Oh, okay. Um, but that's like literally once in a blue moon because your foundation's not gonna like last longer than your concealer, so I don't really see a point in putting it all up in my oily zones. Okay, I am balanced up. I need to highlight. What do you use to highlight? So I do a base highlight, like a bronzy highlight, mm -hmm. which is your guys's or a Kiko one. And then I do like more of a white or like a goldy kind of highlight oh. to really make that like pop off. But I just use the highlighter that like the bronzier one on like a big fluffy brush 
and just sweep it across. I'm not really precise or careful with it. I just want to get a glow going across the cheek. So now I'm just taking a bit of champagne pop. And because I'm already oily, um, that's all I need. <laughs> I don't like highlight the middle unless I'm, it's just for Instagram. Mm -hmm. Because like, I'll just get oily anyway, so it's gonna get shiny by itself. Um, but if it's just for an Instagram post and I wanna like, really like do the whole glow thing, I just like plaster that or in gloss. It's um, just like all over my face. Are you not powdering? Should I? She's trying to hold the whole gig here. Okay. <laughs> no, don't powder. Okay. I wanna see. So yeah, go in with this, mm -hmm. um, and what I'll do, so I'll dip in, ooh, sorry, oh, so on a client if I'm not setting them, I'll dip into this and then I'll also take whatever face powder I normally use oh, okay. to water it down a bit, okay. just for the first kind of dip, and then I'll intensify with that. Okay. But wait, no powder. Yeah, that was scary. That's intense. Oh. I, I want to do the other side. Okay, you, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to do the other side. Okay. I'm going to do the grain on the bottom. Green? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the green on the bottom last time. Oh my god, I need this brush in my life. Isn't it so nice? Oh my gosh. It's the, like literally, oh, I can't live without that. That and there's a powder and how, um, and it's like an angled brush. It's like this, but it's way softer. Mm -hmm. Can't live without that either, and I just lost it, so <gasps> she's dead. <laughs> okay, you do the other side, and then I'll be able to see right. if I did too much or too little. I'm gonna dip into this middle shade in the palette here. And then I'm also going to take just a tiny bit of Lighting Light yeah. HD powder <laughs> Just to mix it together to the side there. So I'm going to sculpt out her cheekbone here Just using kind of a medium pressure And now when I dip back in I'm not mixing any of the Inglot powder Because I've kind of set that area So then it will blend a lot easier out on the, on the skin And like you can really build this up to as intense as you want like, I like a good contour like on the skin. I'm just gonna dip in one more time. I think that's how I'd normally do it. Okay. Now I judge my side and his side. My is harsh. My is harsh as fuck. Yours again looks blended, you know? Like sweet and mine's just like Like <laughs> sweet. I'm gonna pop this like metallic green across the bottom lash line. I've been seeing on Instagram people doing this low, like using metallics along the bottom. When I first seen it, I was like, no thank you. But now I'm like about it because it's becoming a trend. <laughs> and I hate that for myself. <laughs> do you know when you do that and like you're literally like, or you hit your mascara wand after I bought and you're like in a oh. different dimension for two seconds. Mm -hmm. That's just after happening. Okay, I'm gonna darken under my eye because I just feel like it needs to be. I feel like you have so much going on and I'm just I'm gonna over here like, hi! I'm gonna use that eyeshadow as a highlighter on my skin. So I'm just taking this one from Sunset palette. Oh yeah, I'm here for that. That's nice. It's spaddy! There we go, have a spaddy. You never know. Okay. <laughs> you know you no, I literally just like put a chunk of it in outside of my lip. <laughs> and it's like, they're big enough, you better stop. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna put a glass at the top. You put like gold or something like the highlighter. Oh, I haven't thought of that. I'm gonna go with the Kiko. Okay. So we don't look anything alike, obviously. He looks way better. You better stop that, because <laughs> no. <laughs> We've but, both seen we've both seen better days, definitely. Well, one of my eyes has, has seen better days, obviously. Um, my eyes, says it's early. It was the morning time when mm -hmm. we started this. <laughs> we were both yeah. still waking up. This is very true, but I feel like I've learned a lot. I've learned how to blend. Yeah, we tried some new techniques. Yeah, so I'm kind of picking up little bits with really help. Yeah. Like you're very good at what you do, and you can do it so well. Whereas I'm still just kind of catching up. And it's funny you say that because I'm like sitting here on Instagram watching all these other makeup artists and I'm like, how do they do that? Like, why can't oh, I really? do that? Like literally I'm like, swap the, like vice versa. Like okay. I'm literally like, how are they doing that? Like how are they so good at what they're doing? Like, do you know what I mean? Like it's so weird. Like I don't think makeup's something that you can ever be too good at though. Yeah. There's always going to be some like new technique creator or something like new to play with. Constantly learning. Like these palettes. <laughs> 
thank you so much for watching. I have tried to learn as many tips and tricks of Erin as I can. I've tried to help her. <laughs> just like, um... Didn't go too well. I'd take one look eye Look at this side though. To your head. You look good. That's a nice smoky eye. Mm. Lashes set. Skin's contoured. It, it, it'll do. I'm it'll really do. happy with um, that green. That was risky. Mm. I think I'm obsessed with it. I, I never, really like it. I like hate the colour green as well. So when I seen that, I was like, I want to try it. And I used this one and this one. And that's it, because I couldn't use any more. Wasn't, wasn't worth So that's what I used. <laughs> I'm actually going to set myself a goal. Here's this palette first. Okay. So on my Instagram, there's going to be a video of me using this palette. And I literally want to use at least two colours from every row as a goal. That's hard. I want to literally use all the brightest colours too. I want to do like a blue and this green. Look at that lime green. Like, can you cope? Like, I'm obsessed with that. I don't think I've seen a lime green as bright. I'm gonna put that all over my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> and just like work from there mm, with the colours. See how you go. Um, but no, these are really, really nice palettes. Like they blend really, really mm. easily. I literally have no problem. And like, I'm just using my normal technique as well where I'll pack it on and blend it out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes shadows can go quite patchy. They don't blend out seamlessly. But these like, as you've seen yourself, they did like, they work great how I like to use them. So they're probably going to work right for any other makeup artists in the industry. Hopefully. So they are available online and in store. So they're available at glowinggirlies.com. Our store is 15 Ann Street, Limerick. <laughs> You're like a girl showing off a car. We're talent shopping. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> you can get these for just 25 euro. The Fusion and the Sunset. And they are 20 shades for 25 euro. 20 shades. Eat that bitches. <laughs> Thank you so much for everybody who watched. I am Rachel. This is Aaron Mua. Aaron Mua. Aaron Mua. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow Glowing Girlies and Aaron. Is your is it just Aaron Mua on his So friend? it's Aaron underscore Mua. Be sure to subscribe though on the channel to get regular updates of these crazy videos, whether it's me and Aaron or anybody else. And hit the bell button so that you actually get to see the video. <laughs> That's the one. Thank you. Goodbye. You're clever. I don't got it. No tea. <laughs> <laughs> no tea. I made the face for I did <laughs> well. Oh, no. Oh. What's that yellow? Oh my god. Actually, oh. can you get rid of this double chin? Can you show me how to do that? Okay. Fuck this. I'm just gonna go in with it. Just put it on your just eye. Just go crazy yeah. and see what happens. I feel like we're in a spa or something <laughs> and someone's gonna come in with some hot towels. I mean, they're more than welcome to. Anytime. You think I'd be used to this up and down hand action? <laughs> <laughs> My bitch copied me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> it's just... Oh no, I have an- I have an- I have a problem. These are two totally completely different eyes. I just dragged the bitch, no, um, ever. Actually, can you flip the screen for two seconds? Oh my god, there's something in my eye. Oh, Let's have a Jeffree Star moment. No. <laughs> Someone stole the real name, so I have a message from saying, hey, can we swap? <laughs> no, I actually did. No, you did not.